Okay, this video is going to be a little bit more in depth of the uh, fractal nature of the universe. Alright, so we have this uh, galaxy right here. It's called the uh, Whirlpool Galaxy. And uh, I chose this one because I had a picture of a fractal that was basically in the same orientation as, uh, as this one right here. And so that's all you need to use as a marker to be able to uh, determine if, uh, if the universe is in fact a fractal or not. So uh, here's a picture of it. I, uh, I inverted the colors. I've got another picture of it right here. But uh, the shapes in it are exact. They're not like somewhat uh, the shape. I mean, it's it's almost look like looking at a, a fingerprint. You know, it's that exact. And if you if you look at the whirlpool real close, you'll you'll see that there's um, there's features of it that are exactly the same. Let's uh, where should we start? Well, you'll notice. A pretty big indicator is, uh, you know, this spot right here in the middle of the swirl. And on, like, the tail end of it, bam, this part, right? So those two parts, it's uh, pretty good indicators right there. And uh, here you see them. The two pictures, the images aren't exactly... Um, exactly alike, but that's the beauty of a fractal. If you zoom in or zoom out, you'll find the same image uh, repeated until infinity, but it, uh, it varies. It varies. So basically every possible combination is uh, possible. So, Alright, we got these two down pat. Now, uh, <clears throat> The great thing about a fractal is because if this is, you know, the dark energy, dark matter, electric magnetism that's flowing throughout the whole universe, it, it pretty much gives you a map. So, uh, alright, so we have these two points down, Pat. Now let's take a look at uh, this big swirl right here. Okay? I don't know how well you can see if the video is going to capture all this, but that swirl is going right like that's the you can see it. There's definitely distinct uh, distinctions, and it, it would make perfect sense because the different colors in the fractal would represent different uh, different forces being exerted so uh... i mean the whole thing is a mirror image of itself so uh, let's take a look at this part right here how it kind of flows into the both dif different directions and we can see it right right there And uh, the really cool part that uh, is a telltale sign that it is indeed a fractal is um, you'll come to these parts right here where it kind of gives like a kind of like a hard turn like here here it kind of gives these hard little turns right there and uh, you can see it right along the in here and every time one of those hard turns comes along you can see the there's like little notches in it you know it's not a perfect swirl it's got this those same exact notches you'll and you can see there's different colors right at those spots <clears throat> Uh, 
And another thing, every time uh, this fractal branches off into itself, every time like that middle spot right here on these little sides over here, there's, hey, what do you know? There's all these uh, stars and galaxies and stuff. Almost to the T of where they should be, well, where the fractal shows them. Uh, well, my battery's about to die, so uh, let me know what you think. <clears throat> and uh, I'll get back to you.